Okay, so I wasn't going to record this, but I said, what the heck? So this is cassava. A lot of people know it as yuca or uh, tapioca. Um, so this one, I had it outside in summer, but it didn't grow enough. So I pulled it out before we got the freeze. I pulled it out and I potted it. So I'm going to be cutting them so that I could um, make some some root cuttings, some cuttings and plant and propagate more for them so that I could have an abundance um, once spring comes. Now the leaves are edible, um, but you can't eat the, the stem. What's edible here is um, the root. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but this is the root. A lot of people use it as like a potato um, substitute. And this one's not good because, like I said, it didn't grow enough. So you see, it's growing the yucca right here. This is where, where you get your yucca from. So I had another one that I already cut. As you see, this was the one that was... Um, in the dirt like so now remember not to forget which one's the top and which one's the bottom and they're super easy um these nodes are where the roots are gonna start coming out of as you see see each node right here that's a node over here there's another node and it's where the it's starting to root so the more nodes you put underneath the ground, the more root system you're going to get. But usually you want like three or four nodes in the, um, in the dirt. And I wanted them to have a, a little bit of height to them. So because you could cut them as little as like half of this. You can make two. But I just want a good one. So I'm going to pot them up in a 4 inch container. It's so simple guys. Basically put in your root all the way to the bottom. Make sure the soil is covering it. I'm going to put extra soil all the way to the top. And make sure you keep this very well moist as it roots. And then you'll have little sprouts coming out. And that will tell you that you were successful. So I'm going to be cutting this one. Um, I think we're just going to cut one here. And then since I want a um, pretty good size, I maybe want to have all of this in the ground. One, two, three, and then like four notes here. Cut it right here. And then this one, I'm going to leave it long. Just going to plant this one in a bigger container. And I will do the same for this one. This one, I think I'm going to cut it where my finger is right here. Put this one underneath and then leave this top one as a, already a good start. So I trim this up. I cut all the dead stuff off. And I will put this up, make sure it's very nice and watered until the roots start to come by. Um, super easy, super simple. Whenever you're trying to root something, make sure you're pressed down on the soil so that there's no air pockets. And just make sure it's nice and like firm, not wobbling around or... It's not going to have contact with the dirt and it's not going to create that um, root system that you want. So you see it's pretty compact, pretty nice and sturdy. So yeah, that's basically it. So out of those two little trees, I have one, two, like four, eight, twelve, fourteen, something. How many I made? So this spring is going to be a very nice and exciting one. Happy gardening.